you're here because you are either searching for a way to link your ASIO drivers to OBS, or you already had some idea that ODS ASIO link was the way to do it, but you couldn't find a reasonable video to watch that was less than multiple parts or better part of 20 minutes long. This is just gonna be a short video. Watch one of those fine longer videos if you want a lot more detail. So the first thing is to get the tool. The tool is ODS ASIO link. It's available for free. It, it costs you nothing to do at all. Um, it's not shareware. Uh, it's not open source. It was developed by a, a, a genius who unfortunately passed away and his nephew inherited the intellectual property and made it available to all of us. I will include these links, an old cakewalk forum where you can see the, you can read about the saga of how the tool came to be and how these people found it. Um, the Give Academy, where they describe how the pool, tool has been made available for free. And then, of course, most importantly, where you download it from. You download the tool, then you download a combined patcher. Uh, you can get the individual patchers if you want, but I would say just get the combined patcher, pick 64, and install it. Okay, now once you've installed it, you're going to see this pop up. Once you launch it, I should say. This is the Link Pro tool and you're gonna set your basics like sample rate and buffer size here and then you're gonna start your ASIO and once you start it you're gonna get this scary screen and the first time I saw it I was like what is going on well it's not that difficult speakers are broken into four drivers four virtual drivers and mixes which are input these are input devices these are output devices they're backwards of what it says here because this thing is acting as a bridge so my monitors are one and two i have them routed down to uh an out mix and my inputs which are the things that are coming into the asio driver are my microphones i use two microphones in this particular setup i have them routed to a mix and then i have them pulled over to one of my what will be a windows input device in this case device two Let's go look at OBS, see how that translates. If I look at my mic aux setting, I have mix two picked from the ASIO drivers. There is mix one, there is mix two, three, and four, and all your other Windows junk, any other inputs you have in there. So if you pick the one that you have, you, whatever your chosen input device routed as, over here, it'll work. And your desktop sounds also come from one of the speakers. So again, these are output devices. So what OBS is trying to do is to say, which output device do you want to call your desktop audio? I have speakers one because speakers one. And if you want to test to make sure that's working, you have a test tone down here. This will emulate something playing on your desktop. Now you can hear, I can talk over it. I'll shut that off, it's quite annoying. Uh, but this is basically the basic setup. One other thing I did is if you do uh, something like microphones, multiple microphones like I've done, uh, mono mix down really helps quite a bit in OBS. That's just a little aside. That's basically it. I'll leave the links. This is really all you got to do. Probably the only other hint is when this first comes up, it will have default routings. You can either hit these X's to make those routings go away, or I'll draw a little sample routing here. You can hover over it, and if you just hover here, nothing happens, but if you get right over the line, it'll uh, highlight the line. Click it, boom, gone. And make sure you hit save, and you save your profile. Name it whatever. I named mine profile one. You can have multiple profiles here. Uh, the other thing I didn't mention that's important is picking your um, driver. So this should be fairly um, directly straightforward, I would think. But just in case, you need to actually tell it which ASIO driver you want. In my case, it's Universal Audio Thunderbolt um, because I'm using a USB to Thunderbolt uh, converter to use my um, Apollo. Whatever your device is should have an ASIO driver. Make sure that's here in your driver selection. And again, your speakers are the um, 
outputs, which are the inputs here. And you also are taking all any devices that are, are, are feeding into the driver. So you can basically have all your guitars and synths and dolls and whatever, uh, microphones. You can create whatever mixes. You can mix multiple, these are not exclusive, so you can have channels going to multiple channels. And ultimately you're trying to draw, you're trying to set things to these mix outs that become your different drivers. Um, and they become the, basically the driver mixes that you will pick in your um, audio device that you pick in OBS. That's it. Hopefully this is short enough. I'll try to edit it down and keep it brief. I'm X of Center. If you enjoyed this content, leave some feedback. Thank you. All the rooms were wired for sound. <laughs>